is John Abbott. I'm going to show you his experiment. No, the uh, ingredients you need are alka salsers. This is vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and water. And this is the alka salsa. You drop the alka salsa in, and it starts to bubble. Now, if you look closely, it um, it doesn't make a foam like it would if it were just vinegar. If you kind of look at this, you can see that it turns into a gas as soon as it reaches the surface. That's because of the hydrogen peroxide, which is part oxygen. The oxygen turns into little bubbles, which you see there, and it turns into a gas before it um, turns into a foam at the top, like it does if you use just baking soda and vinegar. So we're gonna let that bubble for a minute. Real quick, I'm going to show you a geyser. Um, you, need a, you need vinegar. Um, this is baking soda wrapped in a uh, tissue. And then some strain. I would suggest using a flask with a rubber stopper and then a little tube that goes into it. And then the strain sits out like this. So when you pull off the cap, it falls in and then you get a geyser wrap. I'm not sure how, how high it's going to go, but it should be. and dropped it in there, it would still be bubbling. Since I only used a little bit of it, it's not going to do much. Now, I'm Whoa. going to use a little bit of baking soda and a little bit of an alpha salsa and drop it in here. And as it keeps reproducing the gas, since there's a little bit of soap in here, um, I made the soap out of regular dish soap, water, and a tonic blow, which you can get on Steve's or somewhere else. So does the color make it like green? No, it's, it's just something that looks cool. I just put that in there because it looks cool. But the soap that's in there, it won't turn into a gas like this. So, and the, the soap will trap the gas and make bubbles. So I'm going to put the alka salsa in here with the baking soda. Get some more baking soda. Are you taking the radio? By the way, always wear safety goggles when you're doing an experiment. And for this one, I'm wearing gloves. Wait, I want to watch this. Okay. Have you already done it, John? Come on. Hang on, baby. Baby, you can see it's vinegar. Okay. So it's it's gonna start reacting. It's weak, It's uh creating gas, and as it goes up, see how it's making the bubbles? Yeah. So it's Are you going? reproducing and reproducing. Always wear safety goggles when you're in an experiment. If you do the geyser idea, I suggest you do it outside or safety goggles, and I suggest gloves. Uh, use either, I suggest baking soda if you're going to do the geyser. Drop baking soda into the container and put the rubber stamp into the If you do this experiment, I suggest you either do it outside or with a pan, and I suggest you use baking soda instead of alka salsas. I just use alka salsas because they last longer. When you're doing this experiment, if you want some cool stuff to play with for a little while, get two, two or three alka salsas, fill vinegar up about that far, and then water up to about here, and then about three drops, no, maybe about 10 drops of soap, and then um, put the three alka salsas in, and you'll have bubbles for hours. Um, 
I suggest um, if you want to make it look really cool, you can put uh, soap in. I just got dish soap, uh, atomic roll, which you can get at stevespenglerscience.com, and water, and mix it up, and you get a pretty little soap. Why do you have to put so much silk in? Okay. So, that's how you do it. Hey, guys. You, tape you can see the bubbles falling over. John went to go do stuff. We'll be back momentarily, but for now these are just bubbles. I'm going to turn it on the side so you can see them. Bubbles. Look at the bubbles. Oh, look at the elephants. <laughs> and look, it's Rebecca. Woo. <laughs> 